Hey, yo, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm giving you some commentary right. on Battlefield 3. And it's Conquest Game Mode on Golf of Omen. And, uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, shout out to It's Rainy Shadows. It's actually his gameplay. I'm just commentating on it. Uh, and affiliated with Always Legit Gamers, or some of you might know them as Mad, Mad Legit Gamers. But their new newer channel uh, is Always Legit Gamers. So. On the link to both channels, that is, it's Rainy Shadows and Always Legit Gamers, will be in the description, as well as to my channel, where I'm produced, so, anyway, I'll be getting later to that, that further down in the video, so, as it relates to the gameplay here, uh, he's using the P90, uh, SMG, uh, with red dot sight and a laser attachment, I think it's suppressed as well, um, Conquest, as I said, on the Gulf Bowman, and he's using the medic class, you know, medkit and uh, defibrillator and all the good stuff, you know. So, but anyway, for you Battlefield players out there, uh, well, if you're beginners or just starting to play Battlefield 3, uh, I would strongly recommend, you know, using the medic class and for several reasons. Uh, first of all, it's it's really easy to use and uh you know with the the med kit you get re recover your hp as well as you can get teammates as well recover their hp and that gives you points so as it relates to getting xp and uh level ranking up and leveling up the medic medic class as well as conquest gameplay is probably the best combo you can use thus far as uh you get crazy points from Conquest, man, as I'll show, uh, show you several points in the video. But, for this to work, bear in mind, for this to work, you have to be an objective player. And what I mean by this is that, obviously, you have to go getting those flags, defending the flags, as well as getting kills in between, you know. So, the medic class will be quite suitable because in battle, you're going to get damage from various ways. Because, you know, battlefield is a game like this with the... Uh, wide variety of vehicles and uh, different ways and means to get by the enemy uh, you're bound to get killed or, or badly damaged so the medic class is quite useful in regaining, recovering your HP and continuing the battle and in the process as I said you'll be getting the teammates will be getting uh, recovering their HP as well and you're getting points for that uh, so during the video, I'll be showing you like just a few more pointers or tips that you could use in your um, gameplay. So starting off with the basics, that is capturing and defending flags. As you see here, it's raining shadows. He's he's getting kills, but not only that, he's also capturing flags. Um, he moves forward with his teammates, and here you can see where it's uh, you can hear the little announcer guy saying objective neutralized. He goes over and you still get a piece piece of the experience. Um, flag capture assist right here. You see it's 200. That's 200 points right there, and that really, if you build it up, it's a lot of points gradually because. Even if you don't get like a lot of kills for say, you can still be in like the top five of elite on the leaderboard simply by going capturing flags. And you gotta be observing in battlefield because right here you see that he knows that someone is capturing the flag. Trying to test it out with a grenade. And you see here that he gets the guy. Well, actually, got a hit on the guy. But anyway, he observing still there. You know, we see that they're trying to get the flag he comes over here and see what he can do to help so so you don't have to be you know all codish and I say codish I don't know because you know cod is pretty much you know Russian and lone wolf style but uh, back to what I was saying instead of doing that you know if you play the objective battlefield allows for you to not only you know play the objective and properly get you see it be all boring and not getting run into enemies you always get in the high traffic areas if you are at the objective because i mean that's the whole core of the game um conquest here is capturing his flags uh but anyway just to drift off from that a little bit right here i want to show you another thing you got to be observing or you know looking out for is like where um, someone recently dies right here you see um, his body it was a sniper and his class right there sniper rifle so if you listen 
you can hear that beep that beep right there and uh, I'm not, I don't remember the name of that uh, equipment offhand but I think it allows you to spawn nearby and right here you see comes down in the parachute instead of shooting him he takes the selfie approach and right here you know what campers get man cuz <laughs> he gets knifed sit down son yep get those tags man so anyway you see, he gotta be cognizant of the fact that they just might return to the spot that they were. So, he might, I don't know, camp the camper and wait for him. So, they're at the race, he gets the kill. So, anyway, back to what I was saying now. Uh, there are like tons of ways to get to points in Battlefield 3. You know, uh, another, another way is suppression. That is, even though you're shooting at an enemy. Your bullets don't hit him for say, but yeah, he's still suppressed as it's that is your screen gets blurred And if your teammate gets a kill, then you get this is points right there As you see, he doesn't really have that beast of a KDR No, it's five But he still see has a decent amount of points simply by capturing those flags So just want to point out that you get at least 150 points to, to a maximum of 250 points so that right there it adds up and uh, another instance in the video I'm going to show you is that he got almost close to 500 points that is so you single handedly capture a flag and right here is an example a good example of spotting so right here he's Enemy too far away spotted. to actually get him so he spots him so not only will he appear on his minimap but his teammates as well and so he goes over to defend the flag. You can see that the indicator then goes unwinding, so you know that someone's there trying to capture the flag. So right here he picks him off. So you get not only points, 100 points for killing the enemy, but the flag defended, as well as you can get you know points like headshot and so forth. So anyway, he goes over again and. Uh, Got to be aware of uh, enemies, uh, different points of the map. And another thing to point out in these buildings over here, they might seem empty, but they're a good, good spot. Enemies usually camp out and watch the D flag from. And right here, you see that he's still, he's still able to capture the flag, even though he's not like right up where that crane is. So that's a good thing you need to be aware of that you don't necessarily have to go to the to um, direct where that flag is itself but there is a good like um, 30 meter radius or a little larger than that you can still capture the flag from it still be a relatively safe distance and stay in cover so right here he manages to single-handedly capture the flag and you see here that he was just at like what 1800 sometimes at 2000 and you'll get another 200 points for successfully capturing the flag. 250 points actually. So that you see there that in just that one feat, he almost has 500 points, and that that really helps you a lot in ranking up and leveling up. You also get a lot of ribbons too in the process. So you see that he's really an objective player, capturing those flags and so forth. So that's the one thing. And uh, as it relates to guns and ooh, blow out the wall there, that's another thing gotta be aware of, man. They will spam the tanks, so they do know it's teammate, but that's one thing you could do. In like close buildings, they're uh, coming on the fire there. I mean, they really, they really wanted this C flag, man. They were fighting for it real hard during the game, as you see in several instances. But anyway. Uh, what you can do if you know you find yourself in a tank if you realize that the buildings are still intact man Just blow out a wall or so because um, people might be hiding in there and they'll just pop out on you and just throw C4s in the tank and boom That's it man So that's one thing you can be aware of as well as you, you just might get a kill and and that's another way, if you see that right there, you see squad spawned on him. The squad system in Battlefield 3 is pretty decent. You know, well, it's your choice actually when the game's loading, you pick to be in a squad. It's recommended that you go in one anyway. Not only that, but that if you know there at the bottom left, where you see the star beside Geoffrey's 7891 name, 
you see beside his name there is a squad leader so whatever ability or attachments that can be used, it benefits the whole team so it could be whether it be uh, you know seeing enemy positions on the map and so on and so forth so that's one thing about being, a, um, being in a squad you get to spawn on them and uh, get in the battle uh, another thing I'd like to point out is that it's very important that we have at least two flags man because you will get your ass handed to you get spawn trap spawn trap man so right here he sees he's reviving his teammate that's another 100 points right there equivalent to killing an enemy so right here he gets a suppression assist so all these bullets didn't hit the enemy and didn't get the actual kill but he got a suppression assist and <laughs> man i gotta mention that machine guns in battlefield are really, really overpowered with a bipod stand man you should you should probably try it out you mean you just lay down and open up that bipod oh I missed a shot right here and here, here he gets a decent 210 points simply by reviving but anyway machine guns man you just lay that down on the ground it has pretty much little to no recoil wow this guy is just running blind anyway so right here you see that he obviously wouldn't need that gunfight if he tried to turn so he gets there and ooh, get knife uh, it's just a sad thing man just see a screen shake and ah but anyway so that's a good one. as I said before the medic class is really efficient and uh, useful ranking up and leveling up so if you're looking to level up your uh, battlefield I would really recommend trying out the medic class for a couple games especially especially in conquest as well as you could use it on team deathmatch because you know people will be dying real quickly so um, could get a lot of revive and revive points and so on so it's a good way to rank up oh yeah what i was saying is that about the flag system it's good to have at least two flags because you know there's like flags a to d and if your enemy is predominantly have three flags and you have one you will get spawn trap because you tend to either so you will spawn at your base that is your flag that you have and so on and so forth so that's one thing so please check out um it's rainy shadows and my channel ryan purdue and always legit gamers peace out guys hope you enjoy commentary